Quiet on the set. Camera speed. Sound production, take one. Hey, this is your boy G Marcus TV back with a brand new video. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching me. Thank you guys for supporting me. Tonight we're gonna be doing a review on the BMF episode, which is episode number three. Love all, trust few. Now this episode, like the title right there, that says what this episode is all about. Meech can't trust so in this episode, this episode was really, really good. So first it starts off to when they were children, over some damn meat. Remember they were very, very, very poor grown up. So they were fighting over that. Eventually they fought and, and they ended up knocking down their mom's china. The mom came back and tore both of their up. Which is actually interesting because I haven't seen this in a very long time. Where a child gets their ass whipped on the screen, I was all for it. She just bent them over and she whipped their ass with the belt. That was a good scene right there. So Meech goes in the car, he talks to his mentor, Pat. So for some reason, Meech started hallucinating about the dude that just got killed, which is Jay Mo. For some reason, he had an hallucination when it was bloody like right in front of him. It was like a crazy scene. I'm like, damn, like that was the most bloodiest they've been on this freaking show. Pat was tight with Meech because he was short on paying the plug. So Pat gave Meech six days to come with the money or else it's going to be Pop Goes the Weasel. Pastor Snoop is in the building. So Snoop, he finally makes his appearance. He's the pastor, so he is praying for Terry because, of course, Terry got shot in the face. So he's just praying that, you know, he doesn't go blind, praying that he's good money. He even put him with the oil, with the cross and everything. But crazy little scene. I feel like his character is going to be a little perv. The pastor touched Meech's mom's hand. So the father seen that, you know he was not liking. So I feel like Snoop is Snoop. I feel like they didn't need him to play the pastor. I don't know. They could have got somebody else. Snoop was playing this freaking self. Comment down below if you agree or disagree. Even when Meech selling drugs and getting all these cars and all this stuff, the family's still broke. His mom and dad is broke and the sister is broke. The mom just tries to talk to the father. Yo, they about to close this house down. They about to shut us down or whatever. Like, I need you to like, you know, we need to come up with this money. So he was trying to work hours, do what he got to do to get the money, but just wasn't working. So Meech ends up paying the mortgage. Pays the mortgage so you know that this is going to be a very, very big problem. So Terry met up with me, they spoke about, you know, a better way that they can make, you know, money. Like a faster way they can make money. Of course, they, they got to pay Pat. So we're just talking about ways to make money, like to have higher quality of drugs. So Meech actually entertained it. It was actually interesting. He, first time he listened to Terry since they started this freaking show. So the cops, which is Detective Brian and Detective Lopez, they visit Terry with the family, of course. They ask them a whole bunch of freaking questions about the shoot. You know how these cops are. They got to find out what's going on. So Lopez questioned them. was like, yo, like, you know, the fact that you got a Mercedes Benz, you got shot there. Only drug dealers could afford that. Was trying to put in more questions. So, so Terry's baby mom was just like, well, her uncle left it to her. So the detective was asking questions. Like, okay, you know, the uncle's name and this and that. So immediately they got defensive. They was like, what the hell is going on there? It's like, you're giving me questions. You're trying to investigate me when you should be investigating the shooting. Of course, Terry was not giving no information about the shooter. After the interview, Lopez confronted Brian. Was like, yo, why are you not really asking questions? Why are you not really going in on this family? So Brian gets defensive. Was like, yo, you trying to question me? Like, yo, like I'm doing what I got to do. Don't worry about me. So he basically ended up threatening him. Was like, yo, basically f off. Let me handle. Let me do me. Let me do what I got to do. Oh man, this Lamar character they did a good job picking this. His little snake ass talking about yeah, you know it's messed up what happened. We gotta get these. You know how that go? Cause of course you know from the last episode he's the one that messed up Phil Mill. Yep, he's the snake of the crew. So mom went to the hospital to pay Phil Mill a visit. And I was like, oh, I felt sorry for his. That that play Phil Mill, the Phil Mill, like it was a real good job he did with the acting because he looked, it looked, he was all bandaged up and everything, and the way he was just begging for his life, begging for mercy without even saying the words because he cannot speak. Lamar's terrorizing them, he's squeezing up the freaking, he's squeezing up his mouth, everything that's messed up, squeezing his body, all the parts that's broken up, messed up, he's squeezing it. He's not even punching, he's not even hitting it. Really good scene, and if that happened for real life, damn Lamar's. But I was like, damn, but that scene was my favorite scene from this episode. Like, get out of here, do not snitch. Don't snitch. If you snitch, it's gonna be a problem. So he ends up messing with him so bad that Lamar pisses his pants. I was like, that's fed up. Pissed his pants? I was like, wow. So Meech went to go see Kato and Big Mackies, and they didn't sell no drugs for the day. Cause you know, it was dry because the security guards just swipe in the corners. Of course, they can't really stay on there, so they gotta find a way to sell the drugs around that area. Meech gets this idea as he sees a food truck. So he's just like, hmm, like this gets to him, like, yo, like maybe we should do that. So what they ended up doing was Meech and Terry. Later on, they stepped to the dude and was just like, yo, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's sell drugs out there. You know, the guy was hesitant. Yo, we'll give you a stack every single week if you just let us 
you know, do what we gotta do here. The guy wasn't with it, so they basically pulled the strap out on him. They basically muscled my dude. I was like, damn, that's messed up. They muscled the dude, and it was just like, yo, you won't have to do it. But still, like, fighting for it. He still wasn't on some, like, yo, punk shit, but they was just like, yo, you gonna eat, we gonna eat, let's just do what we gotta do, cuz your shit did both. So they insulted the man's truck. It was just like, yo, you're not gonna make no good money off of this anyway. So, us coming in, giving you that juice, you're gonna be good money. So just do it. So, the guy was like, under one turn, you apologize. So, Terry was like, apologize. He just freaking took the stack out, gave him a stack. It was like, that's your apology. So, me and his team, they went to go visit a strip club. You know, they was getting the lap dancing, mad titties, titties everywhere everywhere just like how i like it but they you know strip club scene they just they're chilling and then pat shows up and you know pat came early and then was like yo i want my money so pat's just like this is what you're doing to get that money it's only like one of your punk ass friends that they borrow money from you and they just gotta give you the money back and they buying shoes they buying this they buying that it's like yo where's my money like so then meach gives a smoker in the club a sample of his product and he was like yo you know for more product you know you come to the truck Type that Brian came to meet and Terry was like, yo, what's going on with J-Mo? Like, what's going on? He's been missing or whatever, so... He kept the real with him. He was just like, yo, I don't know if I can protect you guys for much longer because, you know, Lopez is on the ass right now. You know, they have a new drug force task that's out there, and they're really trying to crack down the drugs. So he's like, yo, I'm going to try, but I can't really do much, you know. It's about to get real tight. Like, after the time that Brian left, was like, Terry was like, yo, what happened with uh, J-Mo? And then Meech, you know, told the truth. He was like, yo, freaking B-Mackey freaking dropped him. It wasn't me, it was B-Mackey. Of course, you know, Terry is tight because that was not supposed to happen. So when Meech goes to pay Pat off, like he sees Pat smoking the crack. So he's just like, what the hell is going on? Like, you know, the Wood Harrison character, like, you smoking crack? It's rule number five, you don't get high on your own supply. So Meech is looking at him like, yo, how the hell you doing this? Like, you supposed to be big time drug dealer. How you smoking the crack? Like, what's going on, my dude? So later that night, they the crew, they went to a bowling alley. It was Terry, it was Meech, Big Mackie, it was Kale. So Kale goes to the bathroom. And who's in the freaking bathroom in the bowling alley? Your boy, Lamar. Turns out, Kato is working with freaking Lamar. He has a mole inside the freaking organization. Damn. So he's just like, yo, what's going on? Like, I need the information. So she didn't really give him like much information. He's like, yo, like I'm paying you. Like the dude ends up locking the door. That's how crazy it got. But he was just like, she was just like yo i don't know too much they just started to trust me so you got to chill for a little bit he's like no he wants to know everything he wants to know everything about about their stash their dope everything the cash he needs to know what's up or it's gonna be a serious problem he cannot trust the bitch goes back to the party so meech noticed the goons you know 12th street goons or whatever so then it hits terry like he had an epiphany like yo maybe it was freaking lamar that shot me it's a good chance they shot me so they had like a whole like showdown or whatever nothing went down they just gave each other a stare down the dramatic music you know how they do so now the pops is there, it's the pops and the mom, and he's just like, yo, what's going on? Confronted the mom about, yo, how the mortgage got paid or whatever. So hesitantly, she said that, yo, Meech paid it. This nigga got real tight and was just like, you really gonna do this? You really wanna be behind my back and let him pay? He's like, yo, nah, get the money back. She's like, yo, how am I gonna get the money back for something that's already paid for? The father got tight, gave his key, real dramatic scene or whatever, and he was like, yo, I'm out of here. You let Meech be in the band in this house. I was like, this little bitch. Like, seriously, my dude? Like, it was not that damn serious. So the last scene of the episode was Meech went to go see Monique. So Meech's like, what's like, what's really going on or whatever? Like, I've been calling you, been paying you all day, girl. She just kept like, you know, trying to push him away. And he's like, yo, what the hell are you doing? What's going on? So who pulls up to the door? Lamar. Yeah, boy. Pulls up. Just like, yo, back to like, you know, get out of here, son. Like, and so Meech is like, shocked or whatever. So she was like, yo, you know, basically bounce. So like, Lamar had grabbed him. So grabbed him or whatever through the gate. So Meech just pulled out the pistol and just, you know, pointed. And so then Monique was like, yo, what the hell are you doing? You want to pull out a gun? And you know, my daughter's here. What are you doing? She's like, yo, get the f out of here. So Lamar was just on some, like, yo, you been was written off. Like, you got to get out of here. Like, bounce. So of course, that I heard that. It was really surprising that like, this episode so far was my favorite episode of the series like for the first season like this was well written i was really feeling the acting i was really feeling the writing let your boy know how you feel about this episode if you're gonna watch the episode if you've been watching bmf let me know what's going on this episode right there this was a solid nine the only thing i did not like about this episode was snoop Dogg's acting i'm just like really come on man this is snoop Dogg. from the time snoop Dogg come on camera you're gonna start laughing the main character i don't know i don't know how this is gonna work thank you guys for watching me thank you guys for supporting me love you guys you guys have a good one got it that's a wrap